I don't know if it's the best poker face, but it's definitely the most noticeable. Um, that's Timex, Mike McDonald. I don't like playing against him. Completely stone cold stare into nothingness. I don't even know how to do it. It's 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 scary. Action's been folded to Mike McDonald and he raises the button, makes it 20,000. Daniel Wyman has just joined the feature table. He has ace deuce suited in the small blind. Probably thinks he's ahead of Mike's button range and he's probably right, just not ahead right now. He re-raises to 50,000. I'm just gonna die laughing at the stare. I guess if he dies, Mike wins the pot. Maybe that's why he does it. He's still breathing, I think. Whatever you say about the stare, it got Wyman talking, so maybe Mike's picked up something from that. Mike responds with a four bet. He has re raised to 105,000. Mike seems pretty convinced he can four bet for value here. We know Wyman should probably let this go. Let's see how often he thinks Mike is light here. Oh, I do love these button versus small blind pre flop raising wars. Wyman five bets to 175,000. Obviously, Mike thinks his hand is pretty strong, and I'm curious to see if he thinks he can 4-bet call for value, or if he thinks he's going to end up having to fold too much post-flop if he just calls. I don't think he's folding, though. On. Mike shoves! And Wyman folds! Smell you later. Martin Finger raised pre and got called by Mike McDonald, who has flopped trips. Mike McDonald has trip fives, E-I-E-I-O. It's a cooler, blind on blind, E-I-E-I-O. With an overpair here and a jack five there, here a five, there a five, everywhere a five, five. Mike McDonald has trip fives and might get max value. Safinga so has C-bet his overpair. Mike just calls. I do not know what Mike McDonald's doing playing poker, not on the professional stare down circuit. Seven of hearts on the turn. Finger now with a straight flush draw to go with his nines. With the right coaching, McDonald could make it all the way to staring nationals. That's where the real money is. I drop sponsorships, big money. Loving the cameo appearance from Max Altergott's knee as Finger slows down on the turn and checks. But I don't think he's folding to a bet. McDonald bets 100,000. This board is more draw heavy than an overweight comic book artist. Obscure, but amusing. You'll allow it. I'm all in. Finger shoves! Small blind moves all in for 422. I call. call. And Mike McDonald calls. I don't want to point any fingers, but when Mike bets the turn there, he's going to have it a lot. Plenty of outs for finger, though. But doesn't hit on the river. Okay. And that will see Martin Finger sent to the rail. An action's been folded to Mike. Back at the feature table, ace ten of clubs. Would you say it's more lilac or lavender? Definitely lavender. From under the gun, plus one, he makes it 4,500. Nine five of spades for Gila Liberté. So this is a fold. Unless you're a billionaire, Lucy Gooski. He calls. He is in position. He's in the cutoff. The blinds are out. So heads up to the flop. You think this guy's going to follow your rules of convention? He's been to outer space. Well, that flop gives Mike top pair. It gives Gee two pair. How is Mike going to run him down this time? Mike continues for 8,000. Seriously, this flop is more brutal for Mike than the pawn shop scene from Pulp Fiction. We could see it all go in here. And with this board texture, Guy should fast play it. Raise. He is raising. A big raise to 30,000. Mike can't fold. He's got Guy well covered. I often find the Mike McDonald stare hilarious, but I don't think the purple shirt is helping. I thought we agreed it was lavender. Right. All in. There's Call. All in. Mike shoves and Guy calls. And Guy is a three to one favorite to double up through Mike. That is a super annoying hand to see turned over. Could always rebite. Got the best hand. Hmm? Got the best hand. I know, Dan. Did you, Guy? Did you? 
There are five cards in the deck that Guy has to fade. Mike can improve with any ace or any ten. And there's a ten on the turn! Ugh. Good card twice. <laughs> so sick. Got him again. Sorry. Well, if a nine come... You still lose. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Give me a rebuy. What did I say? Twice. Guy is officially drawing dead. And that is the ultimate needle. Well, now he can at least tell people he lost boat over boat. Folded around to Mike McDonald on the button. Eight, seven of spades. Standard raise, and this would be a standard button defend. He calls. John Juanda, jack nine of spades in the big blind, calls as well. And a standard big blind defend. Standard all around. Three way to the flop. Juanda first to speak. He flops top pair. And at least Seidel didn't flop an awkward top pair this time. Check, check. Mike McDonald is up and down. Hey, Mikey, you want the betting lead? Eight. Raise. That, sorry, 8,000. Well, he was raising from zero to 8,000. No raise, eh? No raise, I call. Go. Cool. Juanda calls with top pair. Seidel gets out of the way, heads up to the turn. Mike's not mad at Juanda's joke. He looks at everyone like that. Board pairs, puts three diamonds out there. Check. Joanda checks a second time. Mike can bet again here, but if he misses the river, he's gonna need to empty the clip if he ever wants to see those chips again. Looks like he will semi-bluff with a straight draw again. <laughs> to the amusement of Daniel Negrano, who bets 18,000. Not weird that we could hear Daniel's laugh, though it is weird that he's in his hotel room right now. Juanda still fine with top pair. He calls. Just over 68,000 in the middle. King of hearts on the river. Juanda checks a third time. Mike's got eight high, and there are a few better times to bluff than when you have zero showdown value and your opponent hasn't rep very strong. Mike bets 35,000. Now, even though Mike's draw didn't come in, a draw did, which is important when you're going to bluff rivers. I think Mike's done a great job of playing this hand the same way he would have had he turned a flush. Jawanda folds the best hand. Well done, Mike McDonald. You are the moon master. Mike McDonald is in the small blind and has King Jack suited. Yum, yum. Too juicy to get away from. But now onto something other than Mike McDonald's lips. How about that hand? I'm gonna go get some water. McDonald calls. Peter Chan in the big blind, queen seven off. He folds, so heads up to the flop, and Mike is dominated. But it's a queen ten deuce two spade flop, and Mike's now the favorite with straight and flush draws. Action goes check, check. Four of diamonds on the turn. This board kind of smashes Mike's small blind calling range, and I think he's usually going to start firing now. He bets 35,000. Shemian's gone back to being the favorite, a two to one favorite. And he calls with ace king high. He has a gut shot of his own, of course. While well, the board bricks out for both players. Mike's only shot at winning this is to fire at it. And fire he will, 80,000. Mike's actually got very few bluffs in his range. But this is one of them. It's been folded around to Mike McDonald. Pocket Queens. My man. He raises to 10,000. Little torture. So tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I tried to give it away. It didn't work. Yeah, that's what you did. Sounds like Bob's got a case of the fake I don't caresies. It's Jason Mercier's big blind. He's got ace queen. He calls the raise. We're going to the flop. Somehow has the wherewithal to just call. No three bet. Nice move. The flop is eight eight deuce with two hearts. Jason checks. Normally we're going to see a C bet here for pure value. Mike checks behind. 
Interesting check back, but I like it. There's not much he can get called with, and he wants Jason to turn something he can lose with, like this exact card. Mercia now with a pair of queens to go with the eights on board. McDonald with a full house. And Mercia leads 14,500. Jason could have led or check called, but I like the lead with three hearts out there. Mike calls. Why did you change your uh, betting movements? Hmm. Six months ago or something. I'm so glad that question had the word betting in it. The river is a nine. My guess is Mike's plan all along was to raise this river. Well, the opportunity is there because Jason Mercer has bet a second time, 32,000. Mike just called the turn knowing it's pretty tough for Jason to have a queen here, so his betting is gonna be pretty polarized. And he wanted to make sure if Jason was bluffing that he'd have one last chance to do it here on the river. Mike raises to 100,000. Two nines, so strange. Jason made what he thought was a value bet. Now he has to think again. Bro, your stare is so intense. I know, it's brutal. I know, right? <laughs> You've been working on that too? Like Medusa. Focus over there. I feel like I need to like practice to see if I can do it too. <laughs> oh man, that takes a lot of brain power. Or just a complete lack of brain power. 100,000. Mercia lets it go. Ship the chips to Mike McDonald. Good fold though. Not even a thought about showing it. He's a machine. Yeah.